What is going on YouTube? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be trying out here a very cool smart lock that I got from Amazon with the Prime service. And this one is called the Anchor Yuffie. And yes, it is a smart lock. It has uh, many features including a fingerprint scanner. You can do a pin, the application, or the key itself. So that's very, very cool. And this one is a little bit different than the ones that I have tested before because it has the BHMA certification. And that stands for Builders Hardware Manufacturers Association, which is really cool. And also it is IP65 certified. So yes, it is waterproof and it is very well built in the sense of yes, they use quality materials. This thing is not light whatsoever. So let's go ahead here and like always start with the unboxing of the product. And by the way, this time I went ahead and got a dummy door just so that we can do the installation right here from the desk and that makes it a lot easier. So first you remove this cover that comes on the box and here we can see it says UV security. Uh, very clean box all the way around. It doesn't have a lot of uh, crap written on it. And inside of the box, the first thing that we are greeted with is the manuals inside of a divider here and the manuals will provide a lot of good information so you guys want to keep it in handy so let's go ahead and set this aside the next thing we have inside here is going to be the smart lock now when you guys first open this box make sure that you don't lose um, the dividers because they have steps so as you can see this one says step three this one says step five and right below it, we have the rest of the hardware in order to get it installed. Now this one is also battery operated. It will require four uh, AA batteries. Make sure that you buy good name brand batteries. I like Duracell and Energizer. They're both very good. And uh, yes, after removing the uh, content that came inside the first divider, on the inner side here, on the right side, you can see we have step one step two uh, step four five and six so you have to remove each box and just follow the steps if you guys have installed a door lock before then this is going to be very familiar super easy to do and uh, it comes with pretty much everything you need in order to get it installed so inside here which uh, it says step four we have the bracket to hook it up to the door and that's all we have here inside of the box so now that everything is out of the box here we have the product once again this is the part that goes outside of the door and this is the part that goes on the inner side of the door so the first thing we're going to do here uh, by the way I'm using this dummy door sample here so that we can install it and it should fit um, almost every door out there this is a standard size but just in case you guys are not sure you can either read it on the website which is Amazon on the description they have it listed what doors qualify uh, for you to install it but here on the manuals on this page is page 4 it'll tell you the measurements that you need in order for this to work properly and again I would suggest that you guys check this out because even though this fits most doors out there but I'm sure that people will have different custom sizes out there uh, which is kind of rare but just in case you do uh, just go ahead and either read the uh, the website and if you already order it just read the manuals and make sure that it will fit on your door for this installation all you will need is a Phillips screwdriver in this case I have an electric one but you can use a manual one as well and as we know already something great about this brand is that they include everything inside of little boxes that have steps. So this is step one, which is the deadbolt with the two screws and the R Phillips size. Here we have the deadbolt. This side says up. So you're gonna insert it like so, facing up. And then we will insert the two Phillips screws that came included, like so. So now, Let's go ahead and screw them in. So now for step number two, we have the strike plates. Now this is what you will install on the door frame itself, not on the door. Now in this particular sample, as you guys know, I am using this dummy portion of the door, so I don't have that other side of the door, but again, 
this goes on the frame you just remove the one that is currently installed on your door and replace it with this one you have the reinforcement strike plate but this is optional you don't have to install this and it comes with the screws already included with the reinforced screws only if you need it or you can use the standard one inch screws so that's step number two as i said before on the dividers on the first one that we removed we had step three which is the outer side of the door lock where the numbers are and this is it and the way you insert this is by running first of all you're gonna have a spacer plate just remove that plate you will not need it and it comes off very easily like so then you will have this piece and if you look closely here it needs to match with this piece of the deadbolt right here so what we do is we run the wire underneath the deadbolt right there and we move this piece so that it matches with the deadbolt and then we insert it in there's only one way that it can go in inspect it from the other side again run the wire underneath and that completes step three step four has been labeled with this mounting bracket that goes on the inner side of the door so what you do is that you run the wire on the middle side here like so and then make sure that where the sticker that says step four on the other side you're gonna have like a rubberized material make sure that that's facing the door and then just hold it in place try to align it with the holes on the deadbolt and now what you do manually insert the first uh, screw these are all Philip size screws and you also insert the other side and now with your screwdriver start inserting it in don't go all the way in yet because you might need to align it slightly a bit so try to align it with the door edge the same thing goes here for the other side align it with the door edge and now we finish with the screws like so okay and now we have finished step four after completing step four, you want to make sure that your deadbolt is moving freely. For that, I used the keys, and by the way, it comes with five keys in total, so you don't have to worry about making copies. And all you do is just, uh, well, first of all, you have to move to the side the uh, keyhole cover, and then just move it around, and it has to move freely without much effort. And that's an indication that everything is properly aligned. And this is one of the last steps that we have to complete. And this is step number five. Now, something that I mentioned before is that the batteries didn't come included, but now I've been using this door lock for the past, uh, I would say week, week and a half approximately. So I have these batteries. Like I said before, I recommend Energizer or Duracell. They are the best batteries in the market. We don't have to argue that. And so now what we do is uh, we remove uh, these screws that come inside of this uh, box that says step five. Now, funny enough, it says here that step six, it comes with uh, four uh, AA batteries, but again, they're not included. I don't know why we have that label here, but again, you will need three of these screws and it comes with the uh, extra ones in case you lose them. And so what you want to do now is just take three of those screws. They are Phillips size. Like I said before, with this installation, you only need one tool, which is great. And now what we do is from the inner side of the door lock, we remove the door cover by lifting it upwards. And here you're gonna have your battery compartment. You have your little set button here. We're gonna be needing that later. And then we have three holes for the screws. We got one here, one here, and one here. Now, if you guys notice here, we had that wire that we ran along earlier and that will get connected here 
and there's only one way to get it in and then this pin you have to make sure that it matches with the uh, design of it with the shape of it and make sure that you insert it in correctly otherwise you're gonna have some issues and again you just connect the wire like so and now try to push in this wire a little bit towards the inner side okay get it on here like so so now this is going to be a little bit challenging for me because I'm trying to multitask here um, if you have a helping hand with you around your house that'll be great so that someone can hold it for you while you're trying to get this done there we go we got the first screw done we have one at the bottom like I mentioned before and don't go crazy in the sense that don't get it too tight you might damage the unit so now our almost last step here for the installation is going to be inserting in the batteries again these are AA batteries insert them in like so and don't insert the battery cover yet because we will need Security app to complete setup. There you go. But um, actually, when you get to the application, it's going to prompt you to scan this, and that's going to be our next step: is to set it up on our smartphones. At this point, you can go ahead and grab your smartphone and enter the App Store, whether if you have iOS or Android, which are the only two platforms that it will work currently, and search for this application. It is called Eufy Security. And after you do so, just open the application and from here you will go ahead and log in. Now, if you guys don't have a login yet, you can go ahead and sign up for this uh, application. It will ask you for your email, they'll send a confirmation, just enter the code. And after everything has been completed, it will allow you to log in. And in this case, I'm just gonna use my face ID. And now I am logged in on here. I went ahead and deleted this particular device just because I wanted to show you guys exactly how to complete the whole step. So basically, once you are inside of this application, as you can tell, the user interface is really easy to follow. You will click here on add device. In this case, we have the smart lock touch and you would just click on it. And now it's going to ask you to read that cure code. And there we go. It has done it already. And now here it's going to prompt you. Let me lower the volume real quick. It's just going to give you a little video tutorial on how to install it, which is really neat. In this case, we have done it already. So let's click on finish. And now what we do is press the button here on the door lock on the inner side of the battery compartment. I think we have to hold it until we hear the voice. Let's see. There ready we go. Set up. It says ready to set up. So now you click here where it says I've heard the voice prompt and then click next. And now it is connecting via Bluetooth. So I believe that in the future they might come up with a dongle where you can connect via Wi-Fi. And that's how I have my current uh, door lock set up right now. So what you do is um, you have to close your door after the installation so that it calibrates. Um, and in this case, we don't have that right now. So we're gonna pretend that the door is locked and you're going to click on the circle that says that you confirm that you have your door lock, calibrate it. Okay. Complete. You heard it right there. And now you can name it. So you're gonna call this front door like so you can name it whatever you wish then you're going to click on confirm and now you're going to set up a pin this is a uh, confidential of course and so there we go and now here it is telling us to go ahead and set up the fingerprint so for this you go to the outer side of the door and you're going to have your fingerprint up here let me just try to move the camera a little bit there we go and what we are uh, gonna do now is uh, start enrollment okay and we're just gonna Please put our 
make sure that you cover the whole entire fingerprint there we go and later you can add more fingerprints and here we have it so now this one is called front door if we click on it it'll give us detailed information um, about this door lock and to lock it here with the application you can just simply swipe down and now your door is locked to unlock it you do the same there we go and to add more people here i think you go back once more it says add access and this is where you guys can go ahead and add um, you know different family members so let's say i write here uh, wife okay i click on next and uh, always let's see access time yep at all times you can set up schedules as well you have them enter the pin and the same thing you did with yourself when you first set it up they're going to do the same process again very easy to do uh, we have here uh, settings and on settings it'll give you the battery uh, indicator it has um you know many other settings like wrong try protection scramble uh, password where basically you type in the password first or you can do it after but first you can just scramble some numbers you can do up to 12 digits and then you enter the actual password this will um, you know uh, make it harder for people who are watching you you know trying to get that password for them to figure it out which is a really nice feature we have lock sounds you can turn them off or you can increase uh, the volume as well you have lock calibration in case you reinstall this on a different door you can calibrate it we have firmware update and right now it is currently up to date and finally we have here devices information and which again just provides uh, all the details about the door lock and then finally you can remove it like i said before this is bluetooth powered so you have to be within 30 feet from the door lock in order for it to work and uh, it has also a built-in memory so it'll log in everything that has happened throughout the day so that way when you finally get to it and open it uh, here on the application you can see all the events that have happened throughout the day which again is a very nice feature and i gotta say that overall this is a very nice door lock uh, here to lock it you enter your fingerprint and that's how it gets locked to unlock it you do the same or you can simply enter your passcode on here. And now you can go ahead and finalize it by installing the battery cover and your door lock has been successfully installed. So that my friends concludes today's unboxing and review of the Eufy Smart Door Lock. I have to say that this is one of the coolest and easy to install unit that I've seen in quite a while. And yes, it is very well built. It has that rugged feeling when you grab it in the hand and I can feel secure about installing this on my front door at all times. I don't have any issues with it at all. You have four different uh, entry options. The first one is by using the keyhole. The second, the numeric pad to enter the pin. You had the fingerprint scanner and finally the application that works via Bluetooth. Now in the future, I wish that smart door lock companies started implementing Wi-Fi built in and that will make it a lot easier to access the door lock anywhere around the world. And let's say you go out for vacation or whatever the case may be, you can track everything that is going on at all times and maybe even add a camera on here. Why not? All together. That would have been a great implementation and that's just my opinion, but I think that uh, there's room for improvement, but this one so far being the latest from Yuffie, I gotta say that it is definitely very well built and I will continue to buy the products and test them out to see if they are worth it. But so far this door lock really impressed me in every single way. And like I said, guys, definitely worth it. $249. Let me know down below what you guys think about this unit. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. And I'll see you guys on my next one.